Hello there, this is Daniel from Two Chefs, and in this video we're going to have a look at the new kill module. So we're going to create a new agent group with, uh, let's say, grid layout and uh, 25 agents, something like that. Then also gonna set the visualization to skin, I'm gonna attach a state machine, and I'm gonna set the state to one, so they're gonna be working. Cool. Now I'm also going to create a, a plane with here. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, something like that. Cool. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, so let's call this one area trigger. gonna attach another trigger here so metadata area trigger I'm gonna middle mouse button and click and drag the area trigger to here so to the module so it gets connected I'm gonna change the metadata name to kill you could actually name this uh, to anything really it doesn't really matter I'm gonna set the bool value to to true uh, before that, we also need to add a metadata. I'm gonna call it kill. I'm gonna set the type to bool and I'm gonna keep the bool value to none. So basically, this uh, add metadata is gonna add a metadata to all the agents uh, um, with, with the name kill and uh, it's gonna be a boolean and the value is gonna be false. The error trigger is gonna set the, that, uh, mo that metadata to true as soon as they enter the this uh, polygon, sorry, this plane, and uh, uh, so if I now I press play, nothing has really changed. Let me also activate the, um, the textures. So basically, yeah, the, the simulation is pretty much the same as before. But now, if I add the kill module, and I say, okay, the metadata name is going to be kill, which is the one that I used before, and basically the the metadata the the, the kill module will check this metadata, will find its, uh, its type, so it will know if it's a boolean or a string or an integer or a double, and will compare it to whatever value you provide here. So for boolean and strings, it's just they're just static values, while for integers and doubles, you can provide a range. So if now I press play like that, you'll see that all of them are, are destroyed straight away because the, I, I left the boolean value to false, but if I uh, set it to true, you'll see that they are all visible now, and as soon as they enter the, the, the plane, they, they get killed. So this is very useful uh, uh, if you have like a large simulation and uh, you want to delete some agents that you don't need anymore so that they don't get processed anymore by atoms. And so you can improve the performances of your scene. And this is all for this video. Thanks for watching.